and welcome to my channel for my second video and for my second PC build. So this is my first time talking on camera and it does feel a bit weird. About three months ago we moved from Australia to North Carolina and it seems we did so so that I could sit and watch videos on YouTube from Games Nexus and Bitwit and Jay's Two Cents and Paul and everybody to learn how to build a PC. Uh, our stuff is arriving tomorrow, which is very exciting. It does mean that it delays this build a little bit more than what I wanted. I wanted to get it done really quickly. Now, you might say, but Emma, you just did a build and you would be right, I just did one. But then Leanne Lee had to come out with the special edition Space Gray Dynamic 011 case. Is it 011 or is it 011? So about three weeks ago, I built my first ever PC, which was in the Thermaltake P3 open air case. And I have to say, I've been really pleased with it so far. It looks great and it's been running really well. It's not super high specs. It's the Ryzen 5 3600X CPU, an MSI X570 motherboard, and the MSI 1660 Super graphics card. We've been really happy with the PC so far. Uh, but then Leanne Lee had to go and release the new case. I thought it would go really well in our lounge room where the current PC is. So currently it's got, it's full of RGB and sitting near the TV, which isn't wonderful because as you can imagine, it can be a bit blinding and distracting. Um, and I thought that this case might help with that, help shield the eye from some of the unicorn vomit, so to speak. Eventually, I would like the Leanne Lee case to be water cooled. Um, but with everything that's going on at the moment, stocks are a bit low and that's okay. I will wait, which will give me more time to get to know the case and I'll get to know where the hot and cool areas are and also just what it looks like and what kind of a loop I'd like to build. Like I say that, but I've never built one before and this is my second PC. So maybe I should wait a little bit longer because just cause I've watched those YouTube videos doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about. Or maybe it does anyway. Let's get on with the unboxing and the build. So this is my room. As you can see, my stuff has arrived. see here and this has only been on the floor and the lounge room for a few weeks oh, and we're going out of focus a couple of weeks and already I have cat hair on my fans you know that's the perils of owning an animal um, but maybe a little bit further proof that open air isn't great for the main living area where the cat is gonna be because um, yeah we don't want that all through our fans clogging everything up I just realized there's no need for me to take these off. I'm just gonna take everything off from the front and then put the glass back on and store this case away for a bit longer. Unnecessary work. Now onto the exciting part, putting it all in the Leanne Lee. Okay, so I got it out of the box. Wasn't easy, I am sweating balls. My new room is a sauna, that's fine. Um, also noticing that you can now see the reflection of my whole messy room in, in this mirror. Just ignore the boxes, ignore the mess. I made a nice space, let's work with that. They don't come off, now I know. Great start, can't look at how to get this bit of cardboard out. So untie it first. Okay, just all the screws. You usually get a bunch of screws. It's my number. It's my special. This case being a limited edition one, gets numbers with each of them. 
Uh, so let's see which number I am. Number 538. Um, lucky number 538 out of 2,000. Um, you got two of them. I'm not sure why. Maybe one for the inside, one for the outside. Uh, or in case you lose one, which you know wouldn't surprise me. If I, I don't know what that is. A piece of rubber that has three on the tape on the back of it. Let's see if the power fits, because uh, otherwise I'm going to need to go out and buy another one. I do have another power supply, but it's not modular, and I prefer not to use that. I'm not quite sure whether the fan should be coming from this way or from the back. Now, I guess there is some there are some vents here, so pulling it in that way would work. Um, and there's nothing really here, so I guess that seems obvious. But let's ignore that I asked that question. I probably should have taken all the cables off, but I'm lazy. Awesome. That is very exciting. Don't need to use the dodgy other power supply. Does mean that like it's a waste of the RGB in this, but rather than going out and buying a power supply unit again, especially with stocks not around at the moment, this one will do. So I got these fans from Corsair, the QL120 RGB fans. Uh, because they're the same on both sides and I wasn't sure whether they'd be intake or outtake. It's been an experiment this case for me, learning about this kind of thing. Um, I only have the two fans on the radiator and I'm pretty sure that they're outtake, uh, the way they're set up at the moment. From what I can tell though, they're gonna draw, I'm gonna have the radiator up here and they're gonna draw the air out. And so these will bring the cool air in here. Um, but you know, this is an experiment, we will see. Okay, so I've looked and these have the arrows on them, which is nice and simple. It's pretty clear because the cabling is on the back. I've been saying they're the same front and back. They're not quite. They do have this cross here, um, clearly. On front, no cross, back, cross. Uh, but it's got the ring here. So the RGB goes the whole way around. And the cable is nice and neat. And the label is definitely same front and back. So that's how we're going to tell. Uh, Corsair says to make sure that they're plugged in and mounted in order because when they're because they're addressable, it'll go one, two, three. If you're doing patterns and things, so make sure that you don't plug it in and you go one, two, three. Kind of obvious, but you know. Now you can see my cat. Who's decided to climb up there? That gun is not going to last long. I'm surprised she hasn't tipped it yet. Okay, so I guess now I will wire up the fans to this, the, the splitter? No, not the splitter. The, the thing, this thing in jig. So I will attach the fans to this in sequential order. Now wire that up and then I think I'll put the motherboard in. The Lian Lee case is really good for cable management, which is great and was expected. I knew that it was. Um, so yeah, lots of places to keep the cables through the back, not in the front. I've seen some really funny builds with cables just like hanging across the front, tied to the top. Like, I don't understand really. It's like, come on, just put it in the back. You can't have it across the front of everything. Like, keep it neat. You know, I say that and you're looking at that rat's nest back there. I'm just thinking, she has no idea what she's talking about. Her cables are chaos. Well, I haven't plugged anything in yet. I haven't used all my cable ties. It might improve. It also might not. Hub, that's what it's called. RGB hub. RGB hub. So it's a little bit strange these cover the RAM a little bit with the RGB, they'll block it. But I wanted this mounted center because the captain only comes with two fans in the black. I didn't want it over to the side and then having a big hole here. So 
and these are really they're pretty inflexible so this is the way it's going to be for now we'll see how it goes i don't want any heat getting in there unnecessarily or anything like that um, maybe i'll move them over soon and once i water cool it this will be taken out altogether anyway sometimes you need tweezers i've seen the videos So in my last video I found the Lianne Lee Strimmer. This part here just kept popping out. I'm hoping today it does not, it stays in. But the rubber, the bit with the LED, conducts through. It's kept popping out because of the tight turn. It makes sense. So I've put the strimmer in that I don't understand really. Um, even though this is a Lee Ann Lee case and this is the Lee Ann Lee strimmer, and I don't think my graphics card is that huge, um, there's just no way that this is going to fit without pressing up against the glass, which isn't really the look I'm going for. I don't really want it to look super cramped. I don't know how I can change this except for take the strimmer out and just go with normal cabling for now and maybe have a look into it and see if I can change that and get it to fit. This is the RGB lighting that I've got to go in the case. I think it comes with a four, but I'm only going to use two for now, maybe even, no, I'll use two, one at the top and one at the bottom, it's magnetic, which is awesome. Sticker in there as well. I think we're gonna try and use the magnets for now, see if that's strong enough, if not, switch over. I always prefer a magnet to stick because, I don't know, it's more temporary. I can move it around if I want. Sticking things down is always so frustrating because you know you always do it wrong. Okay, I guess I have to use all four of them because otherwise I won't be able to get it to reach where I want it to reach. Oh, I see now that there's extenders. I could have just used two, but hey, I've put four in now. Might as well go with it. Okay, so I think I have everything hooked up at this moment. And since it's like nine o'clock at night and I haven't eaten dinner yet, I am going to try and turn it on, see if it all lights up, and then later on deal with this, because it's too late and I'm too hungry. As long as it doesn't short out or anything, like I think we're fine. Yeah. Let's start. The big test. I just looked at my power switch header and I had put that on wrong. Okay, let's try that again. There is definitely a very unhappy rattling fan sound. It sounds like it's hitting a cable or something. Okay, I worked it out, that was easy. Um, but something to be mindful of when I do the cable management tomorrow. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have a go at pulling apart the Leanne Lee strimmer. Um, since there's two sets of cables there for the eight pin for the PCI, maybe if I separate it, then it'll be a bit more flexible and I can get that curve in it that I need. that will work. I've just moved it into the center channels of the cable combs and the rubber whatever they are that are carrying the LED light through there. Um, it does seem a little more flexible. 
Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go and see whether that helps at all. I am noticing it's a little messier, but maybe if I can make it at least at the front look neat. If not, put it back together again and go back to just the plain. Well, I could actually use the white cable by itself, maybe just like this one. Found my screwdriver kit. So going through boxes, I managed to find this, which finally has a Phillips head screwdriver small enough to fit in there, which will make my life so much easier because this has been a nightmare trying to get behind there, but I just, I had two screwdriver sizes and neither of them fit. Okay, so this is the big test. Just before I put the glass on, cover the back, do all that stuff. Is it gonna post? It should, it ran before. I've just moved everything over, so it should still be pretty much exactly the same as what it was back in the thermal tape machine. It's taking a bit longer than I'd like. Okay, take two. My HDMI cable wasn't plugged in properly, so maybe that's something to do with it. Success. Always make sure your cables are plugged in and things are turned on. Lesson learned. So I'm really happy that that worked because I did do cable management before I should have and that would have been really annoying to have to undo all those zip ties that I put in but this looks good. It looks like it works. I don't have a keyboard with me so I can't log in to make sure. Hold on. Okay so I've logged in. Seems to be working fine. But it's very exciting. Everything is working from what I can see. All LEDs are go. So it's pretty annoying that you have to have three programs to program the lighting. I just realized that I didn't put in the plaque, the commemorative plaque. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. Now I have finished my build. I'm so happy with it. The mirror finish is amazing. Uh, I think it worked really well to tone down the RGBs a little bit. You might disagree because there is a lot of RGB in here, uh, but I think it's a little bit more streamlined. The color is more direct, not just one giant glow ball. Um, but I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to see it when it's dark without all the, the outside reflecting in on it and seeing how the RGB looks then. The only thing I had a lot of problems with was the Leanne Lee Strimmer. Uh, if I had read the instructions, it might have helped. It wasn't working with the Mystic Light through the Dragon Center with the MSI, all the lighting programming there. Uh, but once you hold down one of the buttons on the remote for two seconds, it switches over from being remote control to Dragon Center. And so that, that was fixed once the instructions were read. Um, apart from that, also having to mod it so that it was an eight pin instead of two eight pins, because my, my graphics card only has one set. So I modded that and the cables are a little bit messy in the cable combs, but it's the best I could do with the way that it was. It's really tight to fit. I would have thought that Leanne Lee would designed it, that it would fit through some of the cable management holes. 
but it barely fits. I had to pull it apart to get it through there and had, had to remove other cables that I had going through that hole and then put them in other ways that I would have preferred not to. But in the end, I've worked it out. These are the things you learn. Originally the ballistics ram, I bought that because I thought that I was gonna be able to use that with Mystic Light. It doesn't really work with it. It just did, it kept freezing. Uh, in its patterns. So I'm running that on the mod center, running this in Mystic Light and through Dragon Center, and now running Corsair as well. So I might replace the RAM with Corsair just so I can at least take away one of those programs, just have two instead of three. Uh, apart from that though, I'm stoked. I think it looks great. The special edition case, I feel I'm really happy that I got it worth a little bit extra money. I've got the cool little number clock in there now that I've remembered to put it in. Um, but yeah, this build went really well. My next build will be my own gaming PC. I haven't had one before. I've always been a console gamer. I've played PlayStation since I was a teenager. Um, I've started playing some, con some PC games on this machine when it was back in the thermal take case. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. So, I want to get a gaming PC and we'll get that set up in our gaming room, which will be our next project. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see my next build. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my other stuff like cosplay and things. Uh, it's Pixie La Luna, same as this channel name. And I will see you next time. Which which part would you say is your favorite <laughs> part? <laughs> which part would you say is your favorite part about cable management? Nothing. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm really bad at it. You're not bad at it, you're just starting out at it. Nobody's really good at it. I don't know. I feel like I'm better than some of the YouTube videos I've seen. <laughs>